Good morning, Regents. I'm Mr. Jones. And I'm Mr. McGrath. Welcome to the Regent Spotlight. Where no matter where we are, we are all Regents. All right. Mike, we have another uh, Mr. Jones, I should say. Mr. Jones, we have another senior with us today. Yes, yes, we have uh, Elizabeth Andrzejewski. Uh, yeah. Yep. That, that's right. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah, got it. We got, got it. it right. Nice work, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Um, so Elizabeth is a senior and you probably, many of us probably already know her, uh, being a part of the diving team. Are you part of any other, uh, clubs or groups at West? Yeah. So I played softball. Um, I did all four years. Well, now we only have three seasons. So, um, I did play softball for three years. Yeah. All right. All right. And, and how are you doing right now during this whole quarantine thing? Um, I'm all right. Um, I'm staying very optimistic about everything that's going on, um, trying to make the most of the situation, which has been hard for me for a lot of things. Um, but I'm, I'm thankful for all the time that I've gotten to spend with my family um, and my cats too. I'm very close with my cats. Um, and they may make an appearance one or, once or twice, I don't know. But um, I've, I've sort of, this is gonna sound very zen and I'm not super zen, but I've sort of, I've taken it to like evaluate myself a little bit and sort of just see just sort of learning more about myself. Like I would describe myself as an efficient procrastinator, which I learned with this online learning, which has been helpful to know for college next year. So, yeah. All right. Little no, that was a very long answer and a lot of talking, but. No, that was, that was good stuff. Um, great <laughs> attitude to keep through this. It's pretty tough when you're, when you're missing so much, including your friends and events and softball and activities. So a lot of credit to you for that. Um, the Zen part, are you, uh, are you doing some journaling or meditating or no, what, what kind of things no. are you doing there? No? Well, what, I've, what I do a lot and I did before the quarantine um, and I've done more is I've done a lot of baking and a lot of cooking. Um, like I make pancakes almost every day for breakfast. Um, it's really not, it's brunch because I wake up at like 11. But um, <laughs> made a lot of cookies, cake, um, breads. Um, soft homemade soft pretzels and stuff along those lines. So that's, that's awesome. Very that's uh, just that but. that process of creating can be um, very therapeutic and uh, calming and uh, energizing all at the same time. So I can see why that's uh, part of your routine for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you got a sourdough starter like like the rest of us? I want to. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I made um, my dad and I made baguettes a couple weeks ago that were really good. Um, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Nice. Those have to be kind of um, flaky, and that's hard to do. Yeah, they were they were pretty hard, but I think we made them like twice, and the first time they were kind of not very good, but the second time they were a lot better. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Good growth mindset. No um, doubt. Yeah. What are, what are uh, some ways you've been able to keep in touch with like your friends and classmates during this time? Um, so I've done a lot of Zoom meetings with my friends and, um, like my softball team too. We've had a couple meetings. Um, I found some like online board games and stuff that I played with one of my friends or some of my friends. Like I have one scheduled for tonight that we're going to play. Um, I also have like routine Tuesday, Friday meetings with my extended family, um, keeping in touch with that and them, which is nice. Um, and I have family all over the country. So it's good staying in touch with them, especially during this time too, because um, family is a really big part of like my life and staying close with them. Mm -hmm. um, and I was supposed to, in like trips and stuff, and it's really hard not to see them. So that's been good. Um, but I went on a trip like a week before, so the week before school closed, I was actually out of town. Um, so I'm thankful I got back, but my last day of school was like March 5th, I think was the date. Um, and it's like, if I would have known that would have been like my last day of high school ever, like I would have actually said like goodbye to my friends, like, or the people that I would never see again. So it's just kind of crazy just thinking about it, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah. A, a lot of us felt like that on March 13th, the last <laughs> day for everyone. And, yeah. uh, you know, when we left that day, we really didn't have an idea that we wouldn't be coming back. That's for sure. Yeah. It's, um, it's crazy. Very so very crazy times for us. Yeah, no doubt. Well, um, a lot of people are doing some reading. You talked a little bit about um, 
what you're doing at home. Are you doing any uh, binging on uh, TV shows? Any any guilty pleasures that you're uh, you're tuning into and vegging out there and just uh, letting your mind kind of go with some mindless TV? Yeah. Um. So I'm not. I'm a. I'm a big like TV show person, but I'm, I'm more of a movies person. So, um, but for TV, um, I've watched uh, like six or seven seasons of The Amazing Race. Uh-huh. Um, uh, Friends, um, New Girl I've watched, uh, Money Heist on Netflix is good too. Um, and for some reason I started Game of Thrones with my dad. I don't really know why, yeah. but <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Um, but I've watched the Harry Potter series, the whole thing, like three or four times through. Um, and I got Disney Plus, so I've been watching a lot of Disney movies. So just like mindless, mindless TV, where I can just like sit and do other things while it's just playing in the background. Sit, multitask, and uh, do <laughs> yeah. some other things while it plays. Friends, thumbs up to that one. That's that's an old yeah. one. That's a throwback. Yeah. Um, and uh, New Girl, enjoy that one too. Great yeah. show. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Love New Girl. Uh, so what we're also asking is like maybe some favorite memories you have at West. So what were what are some ones that uh, stick out in your mind now that you can think about, like, done some reflection on, like, what stands out in your West career? Yeah, so it's it was hard to think about this because there are so many things that I would like to remember and cherish and stuff. Um, so I couldn't think of one, but I have, like, a top three-ish. Okay. Um, so one that I'll never forget, um, and unfortunately I didn't go this year, was Latin Convention for with Mags. I didn't go this year um but the last three years were awesome and I'll never forget because I made a lot of friends through that and a lot of I became really close with Mags which I always really appreciate having a really close teacher friend Mm -hmm. um also softball season was a really big highlight um all the years and my softball team even though we're in this quarantine we've stayed pretty close and are having these meetings pretty often I'm keeping in touch with my coach um which is nice so I'll keep in touch with them, but also um, Fine Arts Week, um, even though I never participated in anything, that's what I really, really miss. Um, like the, just the one X and the um, acapella was awesome. Mm-hmm. All the art shows. Yeah, it was, it's amazing. It's, it's unique to West and I'm really going to miss that this year. Yeah. yeah, the one X. Wow. You know, I think, I think we even had a one act musical in, in production this year. It would have been yeah. really sweet. Um, yeah, that's that's tough. How how was the softball team when um, the WIA and Big Eight, you know, we finally announced that the season was canceled and everything? And did you guys get together on Zoom and kind of talk about things? Um, I don't I don't know if we had a meeting specifically about that. Um, I've I haven't yet, but I've been meeting to check up with my teammates just to see how they're doing. Everybody's doing. Because I think it's um, still important that even if we don't have a season, that we still do something at the end of the year just to sort of celebrate us. Um, But, like, my coach has sent the last few weeks, she sent, like, home workouts that you could do or, like, drills and stuff. So we've been doing that. Um, This week she sent up, like, a game where it's, like, riddles every day. And you have to solve the riddles. You get, like, send a photo and you get, like, a prize or stuff like that. Um, but I've been specifically talking to a few people um, and just sort of just all on the same page about we're sad that this is happening. It's a really a bummer, but there are ways that it, we can make this still, we can still be a team and we can still play in some kind of way. Um, just saying the good side of it, I guess. So there, there's the optimism again. Very, yeah. very, very. Gonna be I okay. love it. <laughs> that's so huge during this time is to yeah. stay positive and optimistic i mean that's i mean that's tough for 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 me and a lot of people to to do so i think that's that's really inspiring that you're doing that it's it's been tough a lot of times um like one that hit really hard was like graduation for me yeah um that was probably the hardest moment but you know, it's it's for the better right now that we did that, but we made that really hard decision. So, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I think uh, graduation and prom and fine arts week are our top mm -hmm. events that are mentioned here, Mr. Jones, with uh, student panel so far, or students so far. Um, are there any other ways that uh, we can help students stay connected and involved at West? Anything that you've thought of where you're like, oh, we should, they should be doing this? Um, I, 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 I didn't prepare. Um, oh, if there's I, nothing, that's fine. No, no. <laughs> um, I think what I'm really appreciative is that a lot of my teachers are reaching out to us, um, yeah. a lot of the students. Um, and whether that be by like the weekly meetings that they're having or like via email or Google Classroom. Um, that's been really helpful to know that there are teachers there for me and um, other staff such as you guys who are there to talk and be there for all of us. Um, and that's really helpful to know that's like not another adult besides my parents um, <laughs> that I can see. Um, <laughs> but yeah. um, I think that's, I think that's a, what's been going well too. I'm leading into your other, probably another question um, about online learning is that the teachers have been there more than I expect, them, sorry, expected them to. Um, they've, they've been really involved with us and I really can't thank them enough for all of that and caring for us and because it's hard for everybody um, and everybody's taking it differently and they're giving all of their time um, and dedication to help us and be the best that we can be. Yeah. That was another long answer. Good one. <laughs> a great answer. A great answer. I mean, um, I mean, I think you kind of already answered this, but you know, what is one thing you would want to tell uh, your fellow students and the West community? You know, um, just kind of in this moment. Um, we're in this together. Um, that even though right now it may feel very individual. Um, and that we're stuck in our house, and that sucks. Um, and you may be only seeing the few members of the people that you live with, or your animals, or not your friends. But we're all experiencing the same thing, and you're not alone. Um, and it's okay to like reach out to people and talk to people. Um, a lot of people aren't doing anything. Like I'm on my phone most of the time because I don't have anything to do. So just just talk and talk to people, um, and that really really helps. Is talking to whether that be your family again or your your close friends, teachers, other adults, whoever. It can be really helpful to get that face to face contact. Um, so just do that as much as you can. Awesome. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for joining us today, Elizabeth. We really yeah, appreciate it. Well, thank you guys um, for having me again. Really appreciate it. It's great to hear your thoughts, how you're handling the, uh, the being quarantined and handling senior year online and thinking forward. And I uh, really appreciate your positive attitude. That's for sure. Cool. Yeah, I mean, there are some classes. I mean, I miss all my classes, but it's like I like online learning, but there are some things that's just like are it's just a little short of. Um, but I know there's nothing we can do about that now, and we have to, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, um, we have to, you already we said have to enjoy it. Enjoy what we have. Most of it and move forward. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again, Elizabeth. Yeah, well, thank That's you it. guys. That's it for us for now. May the region spotlight shine brightly on all of you today.